morning. I'm Dr. J, and you are? I'm Dolly Jefferson. I've been the English department secretary at the university for 37 fun-filled years. And this is Mr. Tabby. How sweet. What can I do for you? I think Mr. Tabby has gone violently insane. Mm, How so? I was in our dining room reading a book called The Master of Rods and Strings by a nice man named Jason Mark Harris. He's my favorite professor in our department. Hmm. What's the book about? It's a dark fantasy horror novel about occult puppets. Oh, is this important for Mr. Tabby's condition? I think it might be. I was sitting at a chair at the table. The book became quite frightening. Mr. Tabby hopped over and rubbed against me as if he wanted attention. He also purred so sweetly. Then I came to a scary scene in the book. A fox mauled the hero's cat. The details were so vicious that they made me quake like an aspen. Then he did something truly insane. Here's what's left of that nice Professor Harris's novel. I'm worried about Mr. Tabby. Was he insanely jealous of the attention I paid to the book? Maybe. Has he done anything like this before? He snuggles against me when I talk to my daughter on the telephone. Something tells me that he had your best interests in mind. He knew the book upset you. How? Did he read it? No, but he watched the scared expression on your face, listened to the labored breathing, smelled your fear, and sensed your body shaking. Since you were looking at the book, He must have decided to defend you from it. So he's not crazy or some kind of psychic? No, but he's smart and loyal. I'll have to buy another copy of Professor Harris's book, but I'll read it on the bus, a coffee shop, or the library. Anywhere but in my home. That's good. I have to check on a couple other patients now. Bye. Oh no, not again. Ah!